So the 1.5 has been taken away. So when you match it and calculate it, you have the 5.5. Okay. So from here to here, we have 5.5 as you can see. Okay. So I'll close up what I have here. So I've closed it up. All right, so that is what you need. And I'm going to match it up. So if it does not match up, in this case, you might decide to either fill it up, but I'll not be filling it up this time. Rather, I'll place them together and start from this point. Or you might also fill it up, okay? So let me just do this. So whichever way is okay. Okay. All right. So that is how it is, it will be when it is sewn. So remember we had a calculation. Okay. This is the back bodies and this is the front bodies. So our calculation for this particular cape, we did um, we did uh, forty as round shoulder measurement. Okay. I want you to pay attention to this calculation. Round shoulder measurement is equal to forty. Remember, we we took away 1.5 from our shoulder. That is 5.5, 5.5. So this 5.5 is on a quarter on a quarter. So we are going to do 5.5 times 4. That will make, make it a full body. So 5.5 times 4 will give us 22. Remember, we are working with 40. Okay, so 40 is our... Um, the round shoulder minus this 22 which is the bodies are already so for us to achieve our sleeve now 40, 40 take away 22 10 minus 2 here will give us 8 3 minus it will give us 18 so 18 we'll be working on each sleeve on a quarter each sleeve on a quarter so we'll divide 18 by 4 again we'll have them um, 4.5 so we are now going to cut our um, sleeve right now. I'm cutting the cape. I'm cutting our cape now. So this is the cape. I'll be using this. Let me keep these ones aside. I'll be using this as my cape. So when you are sewing your cape, if this is your fabric right now, you are going to fold this fabric by, by this, okay? That is how you are going to sew. The way it is right here, that is how we are going to sew it. So the cape I'm working with here, it depends on how big you want that or how large you want that cape to be. What I have here is um, 12 inches, but on my... A pattern of my pattern here I would want the cape to drop okay if I have to place uh, put the cape I would want the cape to drop at seven inches so it means my cape will be I'm measuring eight inches right now for my cape so eight inches okay eight inches include okay let me do it do nine inches including seam allowance so what I have here I will pretend to use what I have here now to serve as my cape so you can see it you place it on fold this part will be on fold so once you are done joining your bodies as you can see so remember this is a quarter of the bodies 
bring your cake together okay bring your fabric together find the loose points i'll make a notch to my loose points so that is how i'm going to sew this cake i'll make a notch to it by that time i've gotten this together i've sewn it and i'm going to sew this cake right on top of it like this okay so by that time this part will be on food as well so by the time you are done sewing the parts that will go for the back this is the back piece that is joined to the sleeve after you have joined the sleeve you sew this and the distance from here to here becomes your opening your sleeve opening okay so this is your sleeve opening so this will be sewn as well as the other side so now i want to show you what happens right here on that bow tie cape after you have sewn and completed your dress just come up and make little pleating okay just little pleating after you have sewn can you see okay so all other places have been sewn all of this has been sewn to the back you come in here and come in with a little um, piece of fabric which you have then which you have torn in and out and you, you know how you make your bow just hold it or hold down the bow okay. i'm doing this at the center front so this should be done at the center front why everything has been sewn can you see so i make a bow to it after sewing this and pack it why this one goes to the back you have the sleeve open so that is how to go about this cape and i believe this tutorial is helpful to you so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day like this video share to family and friends drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you for coming See